Hey, what is up everybody? Yes, I returned to your phone, your computer, your TV, your tablet, your laptop, your computer, tablet. I don't know what you're watching me on right now, but welcome back. It's me, it's Malcolm, and today, oh, how the mighty have fallen. And if you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about someone that I did, quote unquote, did respect for like my last couple years of life. Ellen DeGeneres, and if you don't know who that is, watch Finding Nemo, uh, she's the Annoying Blue Fish. Uh, you can also watch her talk show, which is probably one of the highest rated talk shows. I don't know about anymore, but it was. So this summer, Ellen DeGeneres has been caught up in like a media firestorm based on things that her staff has done, things that she has personally done, and there's things that she's accused of. Shout out to my sweet tea in the back. Leave a like for sweet tea. All these things came out about Ellen. And what I really, really think what started off was a YouTuber, a beauty guru named Nikki Tutorials. Now, if you don't know who Nikki Tutorials is, uh, she came up with this video about her uh, transgender journey. And I guess like a couple weeks after that, Ellen brought her onto the show. Now, Nikki Tutorials also says that even though she had a good experience, it wasn't what she thought it would be. Uh, she didn't have her own private bathroom. She had to like use the uh, bathroom with everybody else. She had to get her makeup done in there. Um, so it wasn't as welcome as she thought it would be. You know, she was on other talk shows talking about how the Ellen staff didn't treat her so good. So it was a lot. And after Nikki Tutorials did her, I guess, expose of Ellen's show, all it's like the floodgates open like all these people started coming out with stories about how ellen treated them poorly uh people that were guests uh said they were being treated poorly um staff said they were being treated poorly and like ellen was yelling at them and it was just a lot of crazy things and something i didn't know until i found out this year and which makes me kind of sick of ellen personally if you know mariah carey Yes, the Mariah Carey, the singer. A couple years ago, I don't remember what year it was, uh, people thought Mariah Carey was pregnant. Now, people that know Mariah Carey, she's one of those people that like to keep like things like that super private. And I think she just didn't want to announce it because she was afraid of a miscarriage because I think she's had that before, I'm not sure. But what happened with Ellen did on her show was she heard about this rumor and so she tried to make Mariah Carey drink wine on her show to prove that she was pregnant or not pregnant and I'm not gonna pull up the clip for you it's really awkward to watch but you could just see how uncomfortable Mariah was about the whole situation and of course it turned out that she was pregnant however I want to say like a little bit after the show uh, she unfortunately did not keep the baby, the the baby did not make it, I guess, uh, another miscarriage. People didn't like Ellen for that. I didn't know about that. So as soon as I found out about that, I was like, nope, uh-uh. Uh, there's also other clips of Ellen talking to foreign guests, not even foreign, but like English obviously isn't their first language. And Ellen just kind of like, not not necessarily sh like shamed them for not speaking english well but it was just the way she was talking to them that was like really awkward to see so you gotta think about things like that i'm gonna remind you and this is gonna be important later this is the 18th season of the ellen show i'm 26. that means ellen has been around or like her show has been around since i was eight years old because i'm 26 now uh one thing i will say about this seven minute one second opening whatever this was uh, it was so awkward and when I say it was awkward, I'm not even trying to be mean about it uh, There was like laugh tracks and clap tracks one. I don't know Why Anybody thought that was a good idea on Ellen's team to do that people are gonna say well, it was a virtual audience um, No, the virtual audience wouldn't come through that clearly because if you were to unmute all their mics or like have a live feed I'm pretty sure we probably hear some dogs barking uh, kids running around in the background, all that kind of stuff. I'm pretty sure it was a laugh track, it was a clap track, and just the way they were placed, it was completely awkward. It was so out of tone. T 
tone deaf. And, uh, yeah, people love this apology, right? No, no, they did not. Um, it's on trending on YouTube right now, which is shocking because if you look at the like to dislike ratio, very, very high dislike ratio because people are wondering why Ellen came back at all, myself included. So what, one thing I did catch in the beginning is she's talking about the allegations about the conduct on her show or something like that, or like the work environment. But what's crazy about that is Ellen actually released like an open letter or like something to her employees apologizing about the work environment. So if, if it can't be an allegation if you're basically admitting it's true that these things did happen. Uh, because allegations are something that haven't been proven yet. Um, that's my understanding of what an allegation is. So I don't know why Ellen said that. It was kind of weird, but you can look up the article yourself. I actually put the headline here. She sends a letter. It was a non-apology letter, by the way, which is kind of bad. And one one thing that caught, caught my attention, because remember, 18 seasons. She said she heard about things she never, and I repeat, never heard about on her show at all so you mean to tell me with your 270 employees that she says herself she has 270 employees that's great so you mean to tell me with 270 employees nobody has ever came to you about anything you haven't heard anything you didn't experience anything that's kind of fishy i'm sorry that's that's kind of like that's kind of like a little iffy to me okay but i'm not gonna call her a liar I'll leave it up to you. And what's trippy about this apology, it's not really an apology. It's, she talks about the situation for two minutes and then she makes like awkward jokes for like the rest, like the rest of the five minutes. It's very awkward, it's very out of tone. But what makes it so weird is she never addressed anything about herself. She just said, we fixed the problem and we're handling the situation. Or she talked about she basically talked about how three of her staff members left. Uh, she didn't say explicitly, but she was basically like, yeah, we're fixing the work environment and then blah, blah, blah. But she never talked about all the accusations about herself. She never addressed Nikki tutorials, which I thought she would do because that was like one of the main people that called her out. I thought she would at least address that, but no, she really deflected hard. And if you, if you watch the video, she deflected so hard because you could tell that it, she was so uncomfortable, especially in the first few seconds was, she made a joke about how my summer's been great and does like the thumbs up, like, what are you doing, Ellen? Like, are you okay? What's going on here? Like, come on now. And then she talks about, you know, I take accountability and all this stuff. And you know, my name's here, my name's over there. And then she makes a joke about her name being on underwear. I don't know why she's trying to make the situation seem so lighthearted when these are a lot of serious things that were like brought up against the show and it's on her name at the end of the day it's on her name also let's talk about how these employees this year just this year after all these allegations came out they finally started getting better benefits and I could tell you the whole list, but you can uh, look it up for yourself. I left the headline here for you. But what's trippy is the benefits that they're getting, I used to have those benefits at like a minimum wage job. So what you're telling me is your employees didn't even have the same rights and benefits as someone with a minimum wage job? Are you kidding me? That's crazy to me. I don't think anybody else talked about that but that's just insane to really think about and then she says we're starting a new chapter starting a new chapter on the 18th season of your show that has been around for 18 years but you're starting a new chapter okay I I'm all about people have the right to start over but if you watch this video and you know about all the allegations and all the things that she even apologized for, this apology is BS. First of all, she really didn't address anything. Like if you watch it, she makes jokes. That's all she did was make jokes in this whole thing. And the one thing that really kind of like grinded my gears and I'm about to get to it is she talked about her being called the be kind woman. 
And the reason why uh, she talked about the be kind is because she said this because of a uh, person named Tyler Clement, Clemente, I'm sorry, Tyler Clemente, I don't want to disrespect. Uh, he was uh, bullied for being gay and he committed suicide. So she says that's why she says it, which of course, good message, good, good message. And then literally, I want to say like not even 20 seconds later, she makes a joke about the be kind thing saying, if you're going to give yourself a nickname, don't give yourself that nickname. And that she, there, another laugh track. And I was just confused because you turn like, it felt like she turned a serious moment into a joke when she didn't need to make a joke there. It just kind of bothered me a little bit. Um, I don't know if anybody else felt that kind of way. It just bothered me where you're saying, yes, the reason why I'm saying be kind is because of the situation, but don't, don't have that same nickname, blah, blah, blah. Insert laugh track. Kind of, that just kind of like ruined it for me. Like I tried to give, I really tried to give this whole thing a chance. It like that part right there, that parts for some reason bothers me the most. I don't know why. Maybe because just the just a sudden just a sudden change from serious to joke i don't know why she did that and but pretty much the rest of it is pretty trash um she really doesn't address anything uh didn't address naked tutorials didn't address all her past guests that have called her out and uh, there's a bunch i have a bunch of stuff um mostly twitter stuff but you, you see the news headlines i've showed some here and there but we're about to just read through some of the YouTube comments, some of the Twitter posts from a couple months ago when all these allegations started to come out. Um, so here we go. Uh, so this guy, Dave Benjamin, uh, back in March, made like a thread about all the things that Ellen, just Ellen especially, has been accused of and like her attitude towards certain things. So we have A, B, C, and D here. So let's just go through it. Here we go. A. She has a quote unquote sensitive nose, so everyone must chew gum from a bowl outside her office before talking to her. And if she thinks you smell that day, you have to go home and shower. She also made a joke about smelling or like, uh, she made a joke during the whole monologue about I'm sure you guys smell good at home or whatever. That wasn't funny, but okay. B. A new staff member was told, quote, every day she picks someone different to really hate. It's not your fault. Just suck it up for the day and she'll be mean to someone else the next day. They didn't believe it, but it ended up being entirely true. Again, Ellen never addresses any of this. We're going to keep going. C. When she's in a bad mood, staff members were highly encouraged by upper management to go into her office and do bits to cheer her up. What are they performing monkeys now? Come on, man. D. She cares about animals, which is good, but so sensitive. For example, if someone tried to show her a funny viral video and way in the distance, a barely audible barking dog is barking, she'll scream at you and say, can't you hear that animal's distress? Why did you show me this? Yep, but Ellen's told, totally a nice person, or so she says. And then I have two stories here. One is from someone that submitted something to the show and then something else, which I actually did hear about on Twitter, which is a restaurant employee that almost got fired because of Ellen. So this is the guest that submitted something first. So here we go. Uh, her name's Danielle. She says, when I was 15, the Ellen show was doing a contest of fans making a bus to her and sending it to her. I worked so hard on this and even wrote her a letter. Weeks later, she used it as a prop in a game and gave it away to some random person with $500 attached to the bottom. Basically meaning that artwork didn't mean nothing to Ellen and she wanted to give it away right away because she didn't like it. You can say that's not what Ellen intended, but come on. Okay, come on. You have this person right here that says they worked at Real Food Daily and because of a chipped, I want to say chipped paint on her nail or something, she almost got fired because Ellen was offended. I'm gonna read it for you. Here we go. Quote, I worked at, at Real Food Daily, served tour and Portia at brunch. She wrote a letter to the owner and complained about my chip nail polish. Not that it was on her plate, but just that it was on my hand. I had worked until closing the night before and this was the next morning. Almost got me fired. I have worked at a restaurant. 
I know what it's like when you work uh, closing shift the day before and then you have to open. You barely have any time to do anything for yourself. So I can completely see why she had probably a little bit of chipped nail polish. And the fact that Ellen pulled a Karen move and wrote a letter complaining about it. Come on, come on. And just to finish it off, some YouTube comments because something I've noticed is when I pull comments from certain videos, the video's comments get turned off. If you don't know, I had a video on Brooke Houts. Yes, the dog abuser. I pulled some comments from their video. That video has comments turned off now. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe people watch my video even though I barely get any views compared to other commentary slash drama channels. But, I'm just saying, kind of weird. So, I just picked out four that just kind of like spoke for everybody because everybody's saying the same thing. That this is trash and why here we go we got this guy michael here he says she's like a horrible politician who got caught in a scandal and her pr said apologize say these things act genuine and talk about the pandemic then promote the black guy the black guy is twitch he's like a famous famous like uh i want to say is he a dancer because he was on world of dance uh a couple weeks ago when that show was on the air another nbc show I know, surprising, right? These people really need a PR person. I, I can see why Ellen talked about the situation as like her opening for the show so she wasn't ignoring the situation. But I really think that this just made it so much worse for her. We got this guy Jim here. She's not the least bit sorry. She's faker than a $4 bill. She's just trying to cover her own guilt. Yeah, like I've already said, this, like if you watch the video, she really doesn't address anything. She, like it's mostly jokes. Like I don't understand why, like you couldn't be serious for like at least 10 minutes and say, these are the things that are going on. Uh, some that I didn't know about and some uh, about me. Uh, just want you to let you know, I'm really not that person and I'm gonna try to do better in the future because that's not who I am and that's not who I represent. But no, just, my name is on underwear too. Okay. <laughs> and this is the one right here. It's, we got this guy, Sir Red Raven. It's funny that the likes and comments aren't disabled. Yup, I don't know why they aren't disabled either, but I'm glad they aren't because it's comedy gold down there. Like it's gold down there. You gotta go check it out before they get deleted or something like that. But because it's NBC, I'm pretty sure they won't. We got this person right here. Pretty much this applies to every YouTube apology I've seen, all the YouTube influencers, all the celebrities that have ever come up with an apology, but not an apology. This one is for you. I'm talking to Tanya Mongers right here, by the way. If she ever watches my video, pro she probably has, because one of my videos is actually pretty funny, counting her jump cuts. You should check that out, by the way. Nice words and yet no accountability for our actions as an individual. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She even jokes during the apology. Yes, not sincere at all. You don't joke when your clients, customers, or workers are in dire need of a human connection. I said this the whole video. She jokes more than she's serious in an apology about allegations about how mean she is. And all she really said was, I'm not that person. And of course people ate it up. Not everybody because the dislikes are higher than the likes. But there's, there's a couple people out there that don't know what the situation is. So if they only watched Ellen's show and wasn't online, she could literally say anything she wanted and they would eat it up. Like, yes, you're apologizing. We love you. I'm going to say this to the people that watch the Ellen show. And I'm going to I'm gonna be as nice as I can about this. If Ellen never gave people prizes or if Ellen just never did giveaways and she just did talk shows like people like Maury or like people like Steve Volkos. And if you don't know who that is, you're not old enough. I'm sorry. If Ellen never did like prizes and giveaways and always gave stuff out, would you have the same energy if she didn't do that? That's the, that's the vibe I'm getting. I would just love to see someone call Ellen out on her show and have like a reverse kind of interview because that would be something I would pay to see. I would love to see Ellen get called out in front of all her fans and see what she does. That's what I want to see. 
she had time to prepare this monologue, which is trash, by the way. That's what I feel about this whole thing. This apology, whatever this was, trash. I would love to see an unedited, like on the spot interview with Ellen on her show with people calling her out about all these things that she didn't even address. Like I gave you a whole list of things that Ellen probably didn't even talk about or she never will talk about, except she apologized in a letter that wasn't even an apology. She just said, I know these things are going on. That's what I feel. I'm going to leave it up to you though. Once again, it is Malcolm. That's me. Subscribe to the button up here. Two of the videos over there for your own free time. Without further ado, I wish you well. I wish you good health. And I will see you again next time.